Hi friends, this is Bhupati Raj, Prime Online Classes for all competitive examinations. In fact, like CLAT, Staff Selection Commission, Railway Recruitment Board, you can say RRB, right? TIS, NIFT, MAT. You just what? Anniti ki chetika, right? Indulu nete general knowledge jindi, general awareness undo. What ki use hai etika, okay, beautiful videos me upload chesto nam. Dantlo, ipun chuka series follow to nam. Called as what subject wise ga, Indian polity. I am going to talk interesting topic. Dantlo, same thing. It is a regular program. Just follow my channel. Right? Clat ki samman dhinchi. We can say this wonderful concept. You can say constitutional law. Chala important application. So, test series start chestinam dantlo. It's a free video. Just watch it and subscribe it. At the same time, enjoy the video. If me pillar liver in the forward chendi, it will be very, very useful, in fact. Same thing. Question paper make a two piece thanum. We can have beautiful uh, analysis here. So, this is the point, in fact, today from Pime Online program, as you can say, Pime Online classes. The topic is what you can say Indian polity, right? A very crucial one. You can say the constitutional law, Chepa and the K. Yemuntun, right? Questions and answers analysis chest thanum. Those who are willing to join the program, most welcome to Pime Online classes. The first question is, which is the largest constitution of the world? Yeah, in the whole world, if you consider, my friends, right? The written constitution, if you take the lengthiest written constitution, the largest written constitution, everything, that's up. See that you can say, our constitution, Baba, what is that? The constitution of India. You can say that Indian constitution is the largest constitution that you can say lengthiest constitution of the world. Second question is recently, of course, you know, yeah, I don't want to tell that word actually, otherwise you'll be definitely getting the answer. See, Constitution Day, that's also known as what? National Law Day. At the same time, that will be called as what you can say that Samvidhan Divas. Constitution Day, National Law Day, that is what you call please, National Law Day. In that case, you don't have to worry about it. And you know, Samvidhan Divas. E3, A word, word, na answer, okay, beta. What is that? It is observed on which day? Constitution Day is observed on which day? That's a very, why? Another question number three, lo convert to today. Just a second here. What is the answer first year? 26th of January. No doubt that's a very important day in the concept of Indian scenario, right? I'm going to tell you Republic Day. Sorry, but the Nantama. Just a second. Atlagi, November 24th and November 26th and Nanmundi. Edi, which we call it as what? Constitution Day. So definitely, my answer is what better? Constitution Day is observed on what? On which day? It's of 26th of November. Induku. Another Miki got a Ventne. Question number three, low clarity was Tundi Baba. See, when did our Constituent Assembly, when did our Constituent Assembly adopt it? The Constitution of India. Miki tells a big process. Our question Sandi could have Miki in the. So, very big process, the constitutional assembly, you can see the body which is, that of course, taken to frame the constitution. Mana constitution frame chase in a body, the, how they, a rose they have adopted the constitution of India. That day is called as Constitution Day, Baba. Right? If the constitution came into force, then the other question is done. If you can, for this one, you can say, option A, 26th of January 1950, undi. second is, 26th of November 1950 on the January 26th of 1949 on the November 26th 1949 on the Mikhail day. This is 26th of January 1950, right? The constitution came into force. We can say that's a republic day. So question that the other one the now point is when did the constitution the constitution assembly adopted implies the answer for this question is 26th of November 1949. That's the reason we call this as constitution day. Please remember are the major karna mikra. Question number four, when did the constitution of India come into force? Even I told the answer already, right? E rose in the the consent day, right? It is nothing but everybody has to follow the constitution. According to the constitution, we have to run the government and everything. We have rights and duties, everything. That's there, the constitution of India. Edi kuda okkati, din flow. Constitutional ka kakapote, automatically what? We can have judicial review. Sir, it's a big thing. Those are willing to join my classes, most welcome. Right? If you want to join CLAT, CLAT, of course, online program, you can say that offline also there. You can say MAT. You understood now? 
our state examination last set t i s s t s right anyway just what you can say i p m a t me me vanni offer chese programs job oriented lo meku ssc cgl rrb we can have all these things so now a examiner raanivandi if the people those who are writing in our exam in our state group 1 comma 2 3 4 andariki kuda meku indian polity untundi so dantlo this is my contribution to you all just enjoy chandi and nenu answer cheppe kante munde me answer cheppeskondi by that what oka comparison any correct aitundo telustundi meeku confidence vastundi so i just shall give some seconds of time then so when did the constitution of india came into force yes ee roju nundi answer is definitely what in this case august 15 1947 andi ee roju ento men chespa cheppalsina avasaram ledhu meeku chala baaga telusu it is it's a very wonderful day in the concept of india you can see that in the history of india it's a remarkable day our independence day so that's not the answer here so next one january 26th of 1950 undi july 22nd of 1949 undi meek last video lo general awareness lo adiga what's a when okay ee jan 26th meeda meeku oka important question undi if you just go through that one you can find that nen chepte aa video chudadu kaabatti don't want to reveal that now come to the point here just previous video general awareness ani so now question number per fourth option b better that is you can say 26th of january 1950 from that day onwards our the constitution of india came into force right our constitution came into force from this day next one here how many days took uh, to complete the indian constitution a very wonderful question it's a very lengthiest i told you that right dintlo any days pettindi mana complete constitution complete cheyadaniki that's the question here now option a 2 years 8 months 2 years 8 months 11 days b is 2 years 11 months and 8 days c or c 2 years 11 months and 18 days and d none of them enti me answer ikkada right very similar ga chudandi daggar daggar ga undi confuse ga koddu almost all meeku oka hint istha very near to 3 years and very near to 3 years so that is what you say indulo option b ga ni c ka ni kavali endukante 8 months undi so b na c na please remember it's a standard question majority exams lo they are going to ask this one right it could be of staff selection commission kavachu ledha mana lasset kavachu ledha clat kavachu anything definitely idu oka important bit so you can take this as what you can say please option c 2 years 11 months and 18 days i told na near to 3 years only just 12 days or 13 days less untundi andukani answer em teeskuntam ikkada manam option c then come to the point of question number 6 very good under whose chairmanship did the constituent assembly meet for the first time on december 9th of 1946 yeah constituent assembly form ayin tarvata first meeting 9th december lo jarigindi that is on 1946 no doubt of course 6th december you know the very important day that's formation of constituent assembly basically immediately 9th roju first meeting jarigindandi so that who presided over that meeting chairmanship or you can say presided over evaru aa roju daniki chairman ga unnaru option e rajendra prasad dr rajendra prasad dr b r ambedkar డాక్టర్ సచ్చిదానంద సింహ డీన్ నన్ మీ ఆన్సర్ ముందు చెప్పండి ఆటోమేటికలీ నేను ఐ కెన్ రివీల్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సో మీ ఆన్సర్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ కరెక్ట్ సో ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ వాట్ యూ సేమ్ మీరు ఇదే రాస్తుంటారు ఆప్షన్ సి అండి సచ్చిదానంద సింహ ఎంప్లాయీస్ ఆ రోజు ఈ మీటింగ్కి ఇంకా నెక్స్ట్ తర్వాత పర్మనెంట్ మనం చైర్మన్ని ఎలెక్ట్ చేసుకుంటాం ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ కాన్స్టిట్యూయెంట్ అసెంబ్లీని నెక్స్ట్ దాంట్లో ఎలెక్ట్ చేసుకుంటారు అది జస్ట్ టూ డేస్ తర్వాత ఐ టెల్ యూ దట్ ఆ క్వశ్చన్ కూడా మనకు ఉంది సో హియర్ డాక్టర్ రాజేంద్ర ప్రసాద్ డాక్టర్ అంబేద్కర్ డాక్టర్ సచ్చిదానంద్ సార్ ఆన్సర్ సి చెప్పాను ఏంటి తను ఎందుకు తీసుకోవాల్సి వచ్చింది అంటే సి వీ హ్యావ్ ఎ టెండెన్స్ ఈవెన్ టుడే ఆల్సో రైట్ ద సీనియర్ మోస్ట్ మెంబర్ మనకు కాన్స్టిట్యూయెంట్ అసెంబ్లీలో ఉన్న అందరిలోకి ద సీనియర్ మోస్ట్ వీరు కాబట్టి ఐ థింక్ ఐ థింక్ కాదు ఇట్స్ ఎ ఫ్యాక్ట్ యాక్చువల్లీ సో ఆప్షన్ వీరిని ఆ టెంపరీగా కాన్స్టిట్యూయెంట్ అసెంబ్లీకి ప్రిసైడ్ చేయమని చెప్పారు సో హీఈస్ ద మ్యాన్ సో ఆప్షన్ ఈస్ సి ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ నౌ కమ్ టు ది పాయింట్ హియర్ name the body that framed the constitution constitution of india which body framed our constitution please indian national congress me tells you inc the role of indian national congress is very crucial established in 1885 right chala great issue avo hume adi mana modern history lo chaudam me andariki telusu school days nunchi kuda right so their role is there but that's not the body which prepared that you can say framed the constitution of india so british parliament as impossible what council in matter what epulu kuda manandi simply exploiting of this india and a point of filling up and chasing the so now what you can say here constituent assembly this is the answer so for this question you can say see right answer better now come to the point of question number 8 
how many schedules are there in our constitution yes how many schedules are there meek telsu constitution does uh, this uh, constitution of india schedules parts of course number of articles ivanni telsu meeku any schedules you can say that the answer for this question is exactly 12 schedules are there next one question number 9th andi how who was the permanent president of the constituent assembly chudandi options isthanu mundu mee answer try cheyandi dr rajendra prasad dr ambedkar mn roy and nan now question is permanent president of the constituent assembly beta indake meeku cheppa 9th december right a particular day right sachidananda sinha garu president ga unnaru but permanent ga constituent assembly ki evarni manam cheskunnam aa time lo ante that you know our first president of india the same thing is that dr rajendra prasad dr babu rajendra prasad was a right permanent president of the constituent assembly now please go to question number 10th is an important one here how many types of indian citizenship are there ఎన్ని టైప్స్ లో మన సిటిజన్షిప్ ఉంది సార్ ఎన్ని టైప్స్ ఉంటుంది వెరైటీగా అనకండి థింగ్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ది అమెరికన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ మీరు అమెరికన్ ఫ్లాగ్ చూడండి మీకు ఒక ఫిఫ్టీ స్టార్స్ ఉంటాయండి ఇస్ ఇట్ రైట్ ఇఫ్ యూ అబ్ ద ఫ్లాగ్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ దిస్ వాల్ యూ కెన్ సే యూఎస్ఏ యూ కెన్ ఫైన్ ఫిఫ్టీ స్టార్స్ దిస్ స్టార్ ఎవ్రీ స్టార్ ఇండికేట్స్ ఏ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ యూఎస్ఏ ఎవ్రీ స్టార్ట్ ఇండికేట్స్ ఏ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ యూఎస్ఏ ప్లేస్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ దట్స్ ఫిఫ్టీ స్టేట్స్ ఉంది అదేంటంటే స్టేట్ సిటిజన్షిప్ ఉంటుంది అట్లాగే నేషనల్ సిటిజన్షిప్ ఉంటుంది యూఎస్ఏ సిటిజన్షిప్ బట్ ఇన్ అవర్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ we don't have that type of thing meeru ekada unna sare you might be in himachal pradesh in andhra pradesh or you can say telangana or anywhere you are one thing is called as indian that's all we have single citizenship so option is what what's for this one is option b then go to question say so how many types of citizenships are there for indian scenario in place we have only one citizenship that's the main thing anduke edi meeru e constituency lo unna parvaledu ee madhyalo elections ayi me andariki telusu right aa constituency lo concerned constituency ankonde అక్కడ అతనికి ఓటర్ గా రిజిస్టర్ కాకపోయినా సరే హీ కెన్ కంటెస్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దాట్ ప్లేస్ రైట్ మీకు చాలా ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఉన్నాయి బికాస్ టూ కన్స్టిట్యుయెన్సీలో చేసే చేసిన వాళ్ళు ఉన్నారు మనకి లీడర్స్ ఆఫ్ డిఫరెంట్ పార్టీస్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ అవుతే ఒక దగ్గర ఓడిపోయి ఒక దగ్గర గెలిచిన సందర్భం మీకు తెలుసు వారికి ఓటు ఒకటే దగ్గర ఉంటుంది కానీ కంటెస్ట్ చేసిన మనకి మిగతా ప్లేస్లో చేయొచ్చు దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ యూ కెన్ సేమ్ రైట్ అంటే ఒక ఎలక్షన్ కాన్సెప్ట్లో అసెంబ్లీలో కానివ్వండి యూ కెన్ పార్లమెంట్ కానివ్వండి వాళ్ళు ఎక్కడైనా సరే అసెంబ్లీ ఇష్యూ అవుతే ఆ స్టేట్లో ఎక్కడున్నా సరే ఏదో ఒక ప్లేస్లో వాళ్ళు రిజిస్టర్డ్ ఓటర్ అయి ఉండాలి అదే మనం ఎంపీ ఎలక్షన్స్ తీసుకున్నట్టు అయితే ఈ కంట్రీ మొత్తంలోకి ఏదో ఒక దగ్గర అతను రైట్ ఎలక్ట్ వాడు యూ కెన్ సే ఓటర్గా రిజిస్టర్ అయి ఉంటే చాలు కాబట్టి హ్యాపీగా కంటెస్ట్ చేయొచ్చు ఏ స్టేట్లో అయినా పర్వాలేదు అతనికి పాపులారిటీ ఉంటే ఈ కెన్ డెఫినెట్లీ కంటెస్ట్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎనీ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ వండర్ఫుల్ కంట్రీ దట్స్ ద సేమ్ థింగ్ హియర్ ఇక్కడ రీజన్ ఏంటి సింగిల్ సిటిజన్షిప్ కాబట్టి నో కమ్ టు ది పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ఎలెవెన్త్ బెటర్ విచ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ద సోల్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ప్లీజ్ విచ్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ద సోల్ ఆఫ్ ది కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ రైట్ ది అపెండిక్స్ యూ కెన్ సే ద ప్రియాంబిల్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ సే పార్ట్ త్రీ అండ్ నన్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వన్ ద ప్రియాంబిల్ ప్లేస్ ఎ కీ రోల్ సో ద ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ వాట్ ద ప్రియాంబిల్ ఈస్ ద ఆప్షన్ బి దెన్ కో క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ట్వెల్వ్ బాబా హూ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ది ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ రెజల్యూషన్ in the constituent assembly on december 13th of 1946 yes it's a very crucial one meer ad open chesthe meeku telustundi even mana classes attend ana meeku vandi detailed ga untayi resolution objective resolution is purely right an extraordinary thing adi evaru introduce chesaru house lo mahatma gandhi ya lekapothe jawahar lal nehru or you can say sadda patel who is that option is pakka b baba that's you can see option b jawahar lal nehru then go to question number 13 how many methods can be used for amendment of the constitution yes we have different type of methods to amend the constitution right we have the constitution gave us how many types in fact three types better right three types of amendment are there simple majority special majority even you could have made of course classes went to automatic everything we can have every thursday the clad batch will start at the same time what we have taken the days what in a way a staff selection commission you can say that that also we can have and every thursday we can start the batch if those who are willing to join online program of fine or if you say mantra is academy we tell us that's also our organization right those who are willing to prepare for civil services join this uh, program and for anything of course you just call me 9849815814 i'll repeat the number is there 9849815814 is the number of pime for online program then come to the point of question number 14 what is that here sir how many articles are there in the indian constitution right that's option here 390 articles plus additions 
three ninety five articles plus additions, two ninety five article, two ninety articles plus additions, and none. As of now, we can have already crossed table four, four hundred and forty four that poem. So because amendments, amendments, amendments like that. But in the beginning, just we have three ninety five articles, and simply we are adding that one. So option for this is three hundred ninety five plus additions. We have to take the answer for this. The question number one five beta. Who is known as the chief architect of the Indian Constitution? Right, a very important personality. That he is the key personality. What we are enjoying today. Right, the Constitution is not an ordinary thing, please. A great thing. It's a contribution of different uh, great people, of course, this country and different uh, personalities. But as one among them is the chief architect, that great personality. Ever do I know, Dr. Rajendra Prasad Gara, let the Pandit Nehru, or you can say B. R. Ambedkar. Who is that? Definitely the credit goes to who is that? Uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Next question, beta. Question number sixteen. The idea of the Constitution of India was flashed for the first time by whom actually? Right, M. N. Roy or Jawaharlal Nehru or Mahatma Gandhi. Ever do answer is definitely Mahatma Gandhi is the answer for this question. Then please go to question number seventeen, beta. I don't want to waste your time. Then question seventeen, the automatic will answer. Try ready, just pet kundi. Correct answer that tells you today. This is a test series. Online immediately within seconds of time because of what इधर मन की कोई time लो आईपो तुम दी मेरे को topic report next video immediately right तो ये मल्ली वास्ट चेंडी automatically I can tomorrow even I can English version एक लो upload चेस तो मेरे को same thing English version as it is without a single word you can find in the mantra on this is what my mantra is channel उन्हें के दा दान लो मेरे को you can find that also mantra is academy there's a there's other channel same thing you can find in that one in English version so here The plan of setting up of a constituent assembly to draft the future constitution for our country was given by the Government of India Act 1935, or B, the Cabinet Mission Plan, or you can say Vavil Plan, or none. Now tell me the answer, please. Exactly, option is what the Cabinet Mission Plan. But the Government of India Act 1935, which is a very important act, it plays a key role. In fact, in the concept of what you can say, right? Everywhere, just what in the while well, they are taking the Constitution of India. Majority part has been taken from this one. We have taken major part of the Constitution, uh, this uh, Article uh, 1935 Act, very important one. Then question number 18, better. The first attempt to buy Indians to write a constitution to India done by a committee headed by Motilal Nehru, which is known as is it the Journal or you can say option B, Swadeshi Report or you can say C, Nehru Report or White Paper or none. What is the answer, please? It's called as Nehru report. So, ila onto nandi. Now, this is very helpful for all examinations, right? Meru raya boye prati exam ki. This concept chala important, right? Meru 18 questions sunda. But in second level, of course, oka question ki isvi chesh kunte level chhu. Antakant time ekku patho the meku subject to vaste, right? Ledu immediate start chhe nandi. Polti ni textbook open chhe nandi. Chauthu nandi. So automatically na to padu meru journey chhe vaste. Meru syllabus aipo tundi. Constitution law of CLAT. You can say that and the staff selection commission. SSC, CGL, those who are willing to write all the central examinations, right? Then keep on questioning. It is a great general awareness. Undo, agar compulsory ke part unto undi. So my contribution is there. I can definitely upload the videos, follow my channel, and of course those who are willing to join my program, most welcome to Mantra IAS Academy and Pi Online classes. God bless you, everybody. We'll meet in the next video, of course. Bye bye.